Healthcare organizations continually face evolving cyber threats that can put patient safety at risk. It's essential to recognize that health cybersecurity is not just an IT issue. It encompasses every level of healthcare, from the CEO down to clinicians. Aligning cybersecurity and patient safety initiatives will help your organization protect patient safety and privacy and ensure continuity of effective care. Healthcare organizations are particularly vulnerable and targeted by cyber attacks because they possess so much information of high monetary and intelligence value to cyber thieves and nation state actors. The targeted data includes patients' protected health information, financial information like credit card and bank account numbers, personally identifying information such as social security numbers and intellectual properties related to medical research and innovation. Stolen health records may sell up to 10 times more than stolen credit card numbers on the dark web. Unfortunately, the bad news does not stop there for healthcare organizations. The cost to remediate a breach in healthcare is almost three times that of other industries, averaging $408 per stolen healthcare record versus $148 per stolen non-health record. In the past five years, mega breaches, breaches of more than 1 million records, have nearly doubled from just nine mega breaches in 2013 to 16 mega breaches in 2017. Due to the small number of mega breaches in the past, the cost of data breach study historically analyzed data breaches of around 2,500 to 100,000 lost records. Based on an analysis of 11 companies experiencing a mega breach over the last two years, this year's report uses statistical modeling to project the cost of breaches ranging from 1 million to 50 million compromised records. Key findings include the average cost of a data breach of 1 million compromised records is nearly $40 million. At 50 million records, the estimated total cost reaches $350 million. The vast majority of these breaches, 10 out of 11, stem from malicious and criminal attacks as opposed to system glitches or human error. The average time to detect and contain a mega breach was 365 days, almost 100 days longer than a smaller scale breach, which is about 266 days. For mega breaches, the biggest expense category was costs associated with lost business, estimated at nearly $118 million for breaches of 50 million records, almost a third of the total cost of a breach this size. Cyber attacks on electronic health records and other systems also risk patient privacy because hackers access PHI and additional sensitive information. By failing to keep patient records private, your organization could face substantial penalties under HIPAA's privacy and security rules, as well as potential harm to its reputation within your community. Most importantly, patient safety and care delivery may also be jeopardized. Losing access to medical records and life-saving medical devices, such as when a ransomware virus holds them hostage, will deter your ability to care for patients effectively. Hackers' access to private patient data opens the door for them to steal the information and either intentionally or unintentionally alter the data, which could lead to severe effects on patient health and outcomes. In 2017, the Healthcare Industry's Cybersecurity Task Force, established by HHS, issued a report to Congress in which they claimed that healthcare cybersecurity is in critical condition. Four years later, the task force's assessment still rings true. Since the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, the rate of ransomware attacks has soared across all industries, and healthcare has been the disproportionate target of such attacks. The 2020 HIMSS Cybersecurity Survey revealed that 70% of hospitals surveyed had experienced a significant security incident within the past 12 months, including phishing and ransomware attacks that resulted in the disruption of IT operations, 28%, and business functions, 25%, as well as data breaches, 21%, and financial losses, 20%. Healthcare organizations are an inviting target for financially motivated threat actors because their broad attack surfaces make it relatively easy for cyber criminals to find vulnerabilities and monetize their exploits. The passage of the High Tech Act in 2009 incentivized investments in health information technology to modernize the U.S. healthcare system, leading to unprecedented connectivity and an expansion in the usage of medical devices. 
The cyber bad guys spend every waking moment thinking about how to compromise your cybersecurity procedures and controls. The best defense begins with elevating the issue of cyber risk as an enterprise and strategic risk management issue. Here are 10 things healthcare should do consistently to decrease the likelihood of a cyber attack. Establish a security culture. Protect mobile devices. Teach team members good computer habits. Use a firewall. Install and maintain antivirus software. Institute a regular and consistent backup and data recovery process. Control access to protected health information. Use strong passwords and change them regularly. Limit network access. Control physical access. Healthcare organizations are major targets for cyber criminals, a threat that increased during the global COVID-19 pandemic and continues to be a challenge. Cybersecurity often takes a back seat to patient care as organizations have struggled to keep up with the unprecedented demand on services and requirements for IT infrastructure expansions to accommodate telehealth and other new initiatives. Cybercriminals capitalize on this reality and use phishing campaigns, ransomware, and other targeted attacks while healthcare is most vulnerable. Group ID Pro Tip Controlling access to resources by groups and users is one fundamental way of assuring cyber attacks, if they happen, have limited scope. Group ID helps healthcare and life sciences to manage groups' users and entitlements with enforced group attestation, seamless group life cycle, streamlined group naming policies, efficient permissions management, and smart user provisioning.